So I am here with Mele Chiari. He is the Group Managing Director of NNPC. Good afternoon. Wonderful have, to have you here. Now, it's been a challenging last couple of years. How is it going for you at the moment? I think we, we, we're at the threshold of history. Our country has changed. Uh, essentially, our industry has changed because we have a new legislation that has brought clarity to how we do our business, a much more competitive fiscal environment, a much more modern regulatory environment. And we're seeing the outcome of all this uh, coming up. Our partners are coming in to invest, particularly in the, in, the, in the deep water, very clearly it's happening now. And also, there are a lot of efforts that are going on to bring back all of our production that we have lost away. It's a very exciting time for our country. And when it comes to energy transitions, what are the challenges around that? I think the key challenge around energy transition is financing what you have to do today, which is to finance uh, the production of uh, gas and also consumption of gas in the best possible manner. And of course, you can produce blue hydrogen without actually uh, properly also producing it in self self So the key challenge will be financing and also realization that in our countries have different circumstances, jurisdictions have different kinds, we can't move at the same pace, we have different exposures, and of course, you know, the handling it must be in a very different manner, and I think, I'm not sure this is very properly appreciated. And technology is a big driver for business these days. What sort of tech are your clients expecting from you and how are you implementing it? I think AI is the, is the way to go in the future. Uh, we saw this coming, but currently we're at the basic level. And also, you know, we're making every effort to make sure that we automate our system and our processes. We make use of the best technology that is available. Good enough for our country. We are standing from almost from ground zero in most of Saharan African countries. And therefore, carbon production systems, petroleum system, will now be based on the best of technology that is available. And clearly, the emissions will be quite low in the current circumstance. And what are your thoughts off the back of COP26? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good thing for the world. Uh, climate change is real. There's a real problem in the world. And of course, all of us must work together to make sure that we achieve the net zero by 2050. For some countries, 2060, yes. But obviously, it's something, it's a step that we must take. And I think it's a good development. And how important are, pets, uh, are events like ADIPEC? And how has your experience been? Yeah, ADIPEC has brought on the table all key players from the operating companies to contractors to producing companies to financing institutions and everybody on the table to realize that we all need to work together to make sure that we achieve the net zero by 2050 or shortly after that.